Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Excel video. In this one, we're going to be covering the new Spectres in 3.15 Expedition League. We're going to compare them to the current meta and the powerhouse kings of Spectres from the past, well, about a year now, which are the Syndicate operatives. And we're going to be talking about three specific Spectres and uh, show you how they look and how they behave, the pros and cons, and a couple of other minor details around this. So let's just dive into the video, shall we? The first set of Spectres we're going to be talking about are called the Priest of Chalice. It's these flying ghosts, which are actually moving really, really quickly. And the PUE database information looks like this. They actually have 20% of their life gained as a ward, which is the new defensive layer, which actually makes them surprisingly tanky thanks to the ward. They have a baseline critical strike chance of 5%, which most Spectres have, except for the Frost Auto Scouts, which are barely worth using unless you're not using Tri-Grip. But let's not talk about that too much. Uh, they have a plus 100% accuracy, the 130% scaling on damage, and a couple of other defensive statistics that we don't really see that often on other minions. However, they have a reap ability. It's actually pretty cool. Baseline crit of 5%. The damage is kind of subpar to what it could be. They have about an 1800 on the attack time, but they are always going to be using their reap, which is actually pretty nice. On the other hand, they have a tremendously high amount of HP and pretty decent resistance baseline stats. Other than that, they actually look pretty cool. I'm going to show you some gameplay footage with these Spectres in the Blood Aqueduct content, just to give you an idea of how these guys actually look. Now, I have completely incorrect support gems, but that doesn't really matter for the sake of Blood Aqueducts. So let's just have a look at them. Um, so um, this is the way they look. As you can see, they have the Reap actually is kind of hard to see. It's a really hard to see. Should be mentioned. Damage is very subpar. Keep in mind this is only the Act 9 content right now with Blood Aqueducts. The speed on their trigger is kind of slow. Not the best you can go with. They look pretty goddamn cool though. On the other hand, the range, as you can see here. If Let's say we put the Spectres down here. I need more if they could move. And I then tell them to attack. They seem to have a very short distance between where they can actually shoot their or cast their reap, uh, which kind of limits their efficiency in terms of clearing. And we'll do one quick test and actually double check if they are able to use spell echo. I believe they should be able to since it is a casted spell, but let's find out. Other than that, uh, I don't think that these spectres was going to be something we're actually going to bother. Uh, due to the lack of efficiency and the distance they have between where they are and where the enemies are able to be casted upon with the reap. Other than that, I mean, they look cool. Sadly, looking cool is uh, not enough in this game. So we're going to do one more test with the spell echo. Support for these would obviously be some sort of AoE scaling to increase the efficiency of their reap ability. Uh, other scalings would be cast speed. Let's see how they do with spell echo. Just me, it doesn't seem like it's working. When I'm ready, very I'm interesting. Very, very. No, it seems to work actually. Does it? You see, there's several coming in afterwards. That's pretty cool. Several of them coming in there afterwards. Something that needs to be taken into consideration as well that we didn't talk about, which was seen in the PoE database, is that you can see these minions here. These are called the SSM Expedition Volatile Zombie. These are pretty cool. Um, bit of lack of information on how much damage they're doing. It seems to be something that they summon on kill. Doesn't seem to be on hit, to my understanding. And it seems like they can have one of these per Spectre, which is why you can see up to five of them. As you can see, we didn't spawn any here on kill, nothing else. All right, so that's about it. That's basically how they look. So the Expedition Volatile Zombie is basically a zombie that will then uh, be exploding with minion instability, to my understanding, or explosion it's spell, which they, they'll be using. I'm assuming that their damage is based off their minion life. Now, obviously, with minions like this, we are still using minion damage, putting us in a situation where minion life for scaling these would be hurt i, I don't know I, I feel like they just look really cool these factors i'm not very happy with the efficiency that they present 
but they do look very cool. I love Reap as an ability. I just feel that the, the efficiency is just not there to be able to compete. And comparing these to the Powerhouse Kings uh, Syndicate Operatives is just not possible because the Syndicate Operatives are just way too good for anything else in this game right now when it comes to Spectres. And it's very, very sad. But I will probably make another video following up and being more in-depth in terms of state of Spectres. This one, we're going to focus on the new Spectres. So we're going to move on to the next one. And these Spectres are the Black Scythe Arbalists. Similar to the Priest of Chalice, these also have a percent of their life gained as a ward, which makes them very, very tanky. They also have a higher numerical value in terms of armor. However, their baseline resistances is kind of limited. This is obviously not too much of a problem when it comes to Spectre builds, but it should be mentioned. They do have a better accuracy scaling compared to most other minions with a very high damage scaling on top of this with a pretty good attack distance according to them, uh, the database the information we get from PUEDB. What's really good with these specters, unlike the, uh, the Priest of Chalice, is actually the distance that they can actually close between the enemies being hit and where they need to stand to actually start attacking. Now, this is a huge, huge difference in terms of efficiency. Another thing is that unlike Reap or unlike melee minions, these guys are actually properly ranged scaling. This means that we can actually use them as a substitute to the Syndicate Operatives. But the question is, are they going to be able to compete or not? First off, they're using Rain of Arrows. They have a 35% chance to maim on hit, which is actually very, very nice. Now, if you're doing a cold conversion scaling, the maim would only provide a movement slow on the enemies, which would be seen as a defensive stat for the build scaling. However, if you're doing fist style with the Impale, then the maim would also increase the damage they take because of the physical damage increase scaling. Other than that, we have the uh, Expedition Arbalist Object Explosion, which is conversion into cold. We have the Expedition Arbalist Snipe, which has most of projectile variation. A skill damage converted into cold is only 30%. So they do have some scaling and conversion, including the Reign of Arrows having a base skill damage percent conversion to cold from 30%. So they already have the idea of converting a bit of the damage to cold. Now, mostly we do want to scale our minions with cold damage. So let's just have a look at how these looks in the actual gameplay and we're going to talk about how they compare to things like syndicate operatives in the current meta of specters again these are called the black scythe arbalist they look pretty generic i don't really see much of a difference they do use they are actually wielding a goddamn crossbow which does probably make them look pretty goddamn dope compared to anything else but as you can see here we are currently using this with gmp and they're having a shot of uh, straight projectiles that's shooting and then they have a very small radius on their actual rain of arrow which is clearly visibly doing cold damage as you can see the damage application on their projectiles feels a bit so-so it doesn't have any uh, specific projectile speed that would make them look pretty they don't have inherited pierce which the syndicate operatives do so they do get kind of limited as you can see the pack here the first initial enemies got hit by the backline enemies in that pack were untouched other than that the projectiles do look pretty nice with a the color theme but you know that's not sadly everything the rain of arrows takes a while where they shoot it up to actually rain down on the enemies which is a bit annoying to be honest in the end the problem with the, the rain of arrows is mostly that that is the, one of the best ways for them to do a ton of damage versus a single target problem it is that it has a four second cooldown and with a four second cooldown it's not going to do very much they're going to be relying on their projectile attacks to do clearing and then every now and then during bosses every four seconds they will shoot the rain of arrows now the problem with this is obviously how would you optimally scale these for better damage and how would you go about using them as a meta specter and this answer is very simple it just can't compete with syndicate operatives their clear speed would be significantly slower and they do a lot less damage so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and check the PUEDB with these bad boys and we'll look at the numbers now this is the attack damage and their attack time of 1.5 that's pretty slow but it has a very high damage actually so the damage from these guys are surprisingly good but because of the way the syndicate operatives are actually being scaled through shotgunning enemies they're not going to be able to compete however if they did remove the shotgun of syndicate operatives i'm going to say this right now before anything happens because we've been expecting them to nerf syndicate operatives for many years now well with many years i mean one up to two years for many leagues um i would argue that the black side arbalist would be a true an actual true contender to the meta specter if they would just remove the shotgunning from the syndicate operatives they are vastly superior over frost auto scouts scouts in my opinion 
uh, for a variety of reasons. They have a baseline critical strike chance of 5%, Frost Auto Scouts have zero, but they can't compete with the approach of the Syndicate Operatives. So well, that's the Black Scythe Arbalest, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And the last one was the ones I was mostly hyped for, but there is a few concerns about them, and they are the Order of Austria. So let's just dive into it. Looking at these Order of Austria Spectres, they have a pretty juicy life count, and similar to the other two options when, uh, with the Expedition Monsters, they do have ward from their life. And all of these things really adds up to their defensive survivability when it comes to actually being resilient in the endgame content, even versus other Expedition Monsters. I'm actually very, very hyped about how good ward can actually be. Uh, they do have a lower amount of damage scaling in general, and attack distance is 6 to 15. So we're going to look at the resistances, similar to the uh, Black Scythe Arbalist. That instead of Lightning Rest, they have Cold Rest, and the Priest of Chalice had a pretty good uh, balance around the resistances, though this is, again, not something you need to worry about too much. Their attacks are very st uh, straightforward, but we're going to look at their damage because this actually matters. They have a stupid amount of HP with a very, very high amount of armor and some extra evasion on top of that. Besides this, they have a 1.5 attack time, which is somewhat slow, but a 2.7k damage approach to this. So basically, they have a 1.5 second attack time with a 5% base crit, default attack, strike your foes with a powerful blow, that's about it. That doesn't sound very good. Then they have a Mega Skeleton Heavy Melee, as it's coined, with a 5% crit, 4 second cooldown, but has a plus 30 plus to the melee strike range. Now, this ability looks really cool when they use it, but again, they've put this 4 second cooldown, which limits the efficiency that we can use for the sake of having trustworthy, reliable, sturdy specters. This is not something the meta specters have problems with, such as the Syndicate Operatives, and that means that anytime we see minions that have a cooldown on ability, they directly become inferior. And that is exactly what's happening in this case. However, these guys are melee. Even if they are cooldown with a 4 second has a plus 30 melee strike range, they would be considered very much melee minions, which means that they are required to have proper movement speed to be able to function well. We're talking about Queen's uh, Decree or Queen's Escape, the two-handed sword. Um, we can also use other things like stacking a lot of modifiers with increased movement speed that the actual sword has, but you can get that on other items to make them functional. This means that suddenly you're not only setting yourself up to have lower clear speed, lower single target damage, you're also forcing yourself to be in a position where you have to invest into them to make them even functional, which is very, very sad. They also have the Mega Skeleton Cleave, which seems pretty cool. Uh, it has a main hand base at main attack distance of 13, which is quite big. Cooldown again of 5 seconds, which pisses me off. So let's just show you guys how these looks in the Act 9 Blood Aqueduct content. So in here, you can see that they look pretty goddamn cool. Out of all the Spectres, I'm not a big fan of the crossbow guys, but these looks fucking dope. The cloak-wielding, blue shiny uh, fucking Spectres with a goddamn sword with a blue hilt on it. It's beautiful. Fucking love it. Dude. Absolutely beautiful. So, as you can see, the blue's little strike here, that is the plus 30 melee strike range that they're using. Do keep in mind that I do not have melee splash for these boys right now. And it seems to me that that little melee strike range thingy is more than enough to actually clear off packs. And then they have that big ass cleave, which actually looks really cool. Now, we have the same problem here as we had with the uh, Black Scythe Arbalist, and that is simply because... They are not able to compete with Syndicate Operatives, but I do believe that for the sake of having a melee Spectre, I would rather, much rather, use these bad boys over something like the Primal Crush class that we used to use for a couple of weeks' time when they fucked over the Syndicate Operatives some quite some time ago. So what's really cool with these guys is that they are visually very pleasing, uh, both in terms of how they are designed to be uh, looking themselves, but also their abilities looks absolutely fucking poggers. If they would have a lower cooldown or no cooldown and instead have a higher cast time or attack time on their abilities, that would be a preferable state. Obviously, I'm not using multi-strike. I don't have melee splash. I'm not sure if melee splash would be preferable at this point, but I do believe that these guys look absolutely beautiful. Uh, 2.7k base damage with a 1.5 attack time is not a bad number. Um, the only problem, obviously, is that their melee and the Black Scythe Arbalist had about similar damage, if not higher damage, and they were ranged, which makes these inferior by default because they're melee. But they do look pretty goddamn dope, so I'll give them that. So that's like the three best specters of all the new minions we've had uh, available to us in the uh, 3.15 Expedition League. 
I personally believe that there's a lot of fine tuning that can be done so that Spectre Gems can actually be used for other melees than just for other minions than just one. I almost like to make a video where I cover that more. I just wanted to make this video to showcase the top three Spectres that I've seen that I've been playing around with and discussing uh, with the boys over at the stream and with my uh, my friends and the moderators. And I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this video. I'm not saying that you shouldn't play these. I'd, I'd say play whatever you think is fun. Uh, you would have an inferior build if you use any of these specters compared to Syndicate Operatives. On the other hand, they look amazing. Uh, they, 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 I'm, I'm sold. I'm straight up sold on the way these guys look. And they, the different MTXs you can buy for these looks fucking dope. All right, that's all I got for you to, for today, boys. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these specters or other specters, or if you think I should have tested something else that is in the list of new specters available that you think is better than any of these. So let me know. I'll read all the comments later on. Till next time, stay safe and keep rocking.